Yeah, how old are you? Uh, I'll be 24 it's very soon, or I probably just was 24. Depending, depending on, on the uh, depending on when you uh, how you are viewing this particular right, show right. at this moment. Does the onset of uh, these years mean anything to you? Uh, not really, not really. <clears throat> uh, in one more year, I'll be able to rent a car without a whole lot of hassle. But you know, you do have you do have that look where I'm sure you get carded for your ID still. Just about everywhere. Yeah. Are you offended by that? No, I actually kind of kind of like it. You know, it's. Um, yeah, uh, sometimes you feel like you just want to paste it on your forehead and walk through life with it. But other than that, no, it's kind of it's nice. It's better than better than uh, you know people getting, thinking I'm somebody's dad or something. Yeah, you know, or getting hit with heavy rocks. I mean, right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Than being dragged behind a snowplow. Now you have come out of this uh, enormous schedule of shooting Family Ties and shooting the new Steven Spielberg movie. Right. And you were doing them both at the same time. Right. I would do. Uh, Family ties in the daytime. A driver would come and pick me up around nine o'clock, and I'd work on family ties from about ten to about six, six thirty, and then a driver would come and pick me up and take me to uh, Universal, and I would work on uh, Back to the Future till about two thirty in the morning. It was great. I, I lived. Now, how did this happen? Did, did uh, Spielberg uh, beg you to do the movie, and you? Yeah, on his knees, the yes. guy came to me, and I was crying. It was terrible. I was saying, "He said, Amy, the baby, and he needs me." And, <laughs> So, no, uh, I'm counting on you, Fox. Yeah, he said, please, you know, I need, I need the hit, I need a hit. Um, no, he, uh, he's a good friend of Gary Goldberg's who produces Family Ties, and apparently they came to Gary um, a long time ago and suggested uh, to Gary that he would let me do it. And he said, there's no way it would fit schedule-wise, and he's a very merciful man, so he didn't tell me that I was ever being considered for it because it would have broken my heart. And, uh, and then, I guess... Uh, it was like a Tuesday, and I went to see a taping of Sarah, which is Gary Goldberg's other show. And uh, he called me aside, and he put the script down in front of me, and he said, Steven Spielberg wants you to do this movie, and can you start on Monday, and I'll work it out so you can do both jobs. And, uh, and I said, yeah, great, good. I went home, he said, read it, and, you know, see if you like it. I said, oh, Gary, I'm, you know, I'm going to hate it, I'm sure. So I went home, and I read it, and I called him up at about 2 in the morning and said, call Steven, don't let him change his mind. Don't let him change his mind, because I want to do it. And it just happened. It was a matter of about five days, and I was on the set. How are you dealing with uh, the early word on this movie? The early word is spectacular. It must be kind scary. of frightening, yes. Yeah, it's really scary. It's, um, it's the same thing with Family Ties. You know, when, when we did the pilot for that, everyone was saying, oh, this is a hit. This is, mm. you know, and I just thought, shut up, shut up, don't shut up, you know? Um, not that I, I ever said that to anybody. I don't want to say it to anybody who's talking about this movie. I mean, I think it's great that they're all excited, but it is a little scary because um they're only giving the, they're only giving us one option and that is to win and you know what if you don't win will you be the same guy yeah will you handle it well yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, um yeah i think so i don't know um <clears throat> i don't I, I i kind of what i call a healthy paranoid a paranoia and get and and um so anyway so i don't think i'll ever get to the point where i'm saying you know i get this movie and all this stuff because uh, I think I'd stop being creative, and I think I'd start being a jerk, and I don't think I could really live with it. Have you ever risked uh, becoming arrogant? I don't know. It's hard for me to say. It's hard to be objective. I know that I really try not to, or don't even really have to try. I think, you know, if I were to go home, that's always the best judge. If I was to go back to Canada and try and play any kind of trip about being a big Hollywood uh, star or whatever, I think I'd get a bop in the head and like a lawnmower in my hands, you know, like that. <laughs> Be like, rake the leaves, and star. <laughs> It's a film about time travel. The vehicle, a nuclear-powered DeLorean. It's a film about imagination. The mad scientist is Christopher Lloyd. And it's a film about destiny. How far are you going? About 30 years. Michael J. Fox stars as Marty McFly, the kind of hip high school senior who can't imagine life without MTV. When a sudden twist of technology sends him back to 1955, Marty not only wanders into a world without rock and roll, he bumps into the teenagers who will one day be his parents. But Marty has accidentally tampered with history and must somehow set things straight before getting back to the future. A pretty funny and thought-provoking premise, and if it at all sounds very Spielberg-esque, there's a good reason. He was always there um, if we ever got into trouble. Um, and that's, and uh, you can't have anyone 
better in that position, I don't think, than Steven Spielberg. As much as the movie has the Spielberg touch, it also has the Mechasis. I love working with Bob because he's possessed, you know? Like this movie, I mean, he, he must wake up in the morning, it's just like the movie, the movie. Back to the Future was originally scheduled to open late July, but when MCA president Sid Sheinberg saw the rough cut, he liked it so much he begs Zemeckis to rush it into theaters by next week. And while no one can accurately predict the future, many are predicting that Back to the Future has the makings of a summer sizzler. It's just got everything in it. Whoever sees it, I think most people are going to really have a good time and get their money's worth, which is it's just a wonderful thing, you know? It's like, I definitely got my 550 or 6 bucks worth, you know?